Hi students, it's Mr. Nguyen here. Today we are going to be using IXL practice to uh, find the scale factor of a dilation. Um, so um, before we start, let's just um, review the formula real quick. It's very simple to find any scale factor, any scale factor, you take the value of the new image or the, the image, right, which is the new figure, you divide that by the value of the original, okay? So new over original, okay? Sorry, I'm writing really slow because my mouse is not working very well and I do not have my stylus. Um, <clears throat> so just uh, keep in mind that and make sure you read the direction or read the description, okay? The orange is the new, right? If it is a dilation of the black shape, then the orange is the new. OK, so make sure you are uh, good on identifying which is new and which is old. And what value am I talking about? Well, you have two choices here. You can use the coordinates, OK, either the X coordinate or the Y coordinate. And you really only need to use one of them because all of the other coordinates should um, um, dilate at the same time factor. So you only need one value of the coordinates, right? So let's say if I use the x coordinate for this point right here, this vertex. So this is 4. The x value for this vertex is 4. And the x value for this vertex is 1, right? Or the value for this, the x value for this vertex is 1. Uh, so that's your, that's your, um, that's your first choice. You could use the coordinate. OK, so I would do new divided by original. So I would do four divided by one. That will give me the scale factor of four. Right. So my answer here is four is what I, I put in. Your other choices, if you don't want to, sometimes it's easier to use the length, right? The length, because you can count easily like this one. The length here is two. All right. And then you would count the length here. OK, you count the length here. The length here looks like is should be eight. That's two. That's four. That's six. That's eight. And you can do new length divided by old length. You can do eight divided by two, and that should also give you the uh, correct scale factor, right? So scale factor works the same for coordinates and length, right? And that that's it. N not area or volume. So don't get confused later on and say, well, Mr. Wynn said it works the same. No, just coordinates and length. OK, um, you can do new divided by original. You will get the same scale factor. So in this case, we have four is our scale factor. Submit. All right. So for the next problems, I'm going to uh, get a little bit uh, faster. So all right, it, this one is actually easier uh, to tell whether it's enlargement or reduction, whether it gets larger or smaller. Uh, all we have to do is read the direction, right? So it says the orange is the dilation. That means the orange is the new shape. Well, if you look, the black one is larger, the new one is smaller, so it has to be a reduction, right? It got smaller, so the original got smaller, so this is a reduction. It didn't ask us how many times it got reduced, it just wanted to know whether it's got larger or smaller. And this is pretty straightforward, easy to understand, but you have to read the description, okay? Awesome, all right, next, using, oh, same strategy here. We are looking at the orange shape, which is the dilation. So the orange is the new, so apparently it got larger, right? The original is the black. It got larger, and it becomes the orange. So we are going to say enlargement. Awesome. Okay, this one we have to find the scale factor. So um, this one, I think I'm going to use the coordinate. It's easier. So the, the blue shape is the new one, right? So the black one starts at one and it goes up to um, three. All right. So how many times is that? Not how many units did you go up, but how many times did you increase? OK, so make sure you're doing this by multiplication. So how many times did it increase from one to three? Well, uh, just follow the formula. The, the new uh, is three. The original is one, so you know the scale factor is three, all right? So <clears throat> the scale factor is three, all right? And I'm using the Y coordinates, as you can tell. Submit, awesome. 
So this is pretty easy, I think. Uh, all you have to do is just uh, be careful with uh, reading the description, right? Make sure you know which one is the new one. I think the new one is the colored one. The original is the black one, I think. Uh, I might be wrong, but I think that's what they're doing. So it's gotten smaller, right? So let's see how many small, how many times smaller. Remember, new over original, N-O, right? New over original. Um, so new one is right here. New one is right here. So I'm going to use the X coordinate, which is two, okay? Over the Y coordinate, which is right here. That is eight, okay? That's eight. So two over eight can be simplified down to one over four, right? One over four. So the scale factor here is one divided by four. One over four, we got smaller. Four times. There we go. All right. Uh, this one is uh, orange is the dilation, so it got larger enlargement. Okay. I'm going to skip. Let's see what we got. Skip. Okay. It's the same type of question. The figure just get a little bit weirder, <laughs> I guess. But same strategy here. Okay. So take this coordinate, which is the new one. And that is at 2. And the new coordinate is right here, which is at 1. So I'm going to say it got larger by 2 times because it's 2 divided by 1. Okay? So I think sometimes it looks so weird and you doubt yourself. But I think this is a scale factor of 2. Uh, submit. There we go. Okay. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, let me know uh, how you do. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more tutorial videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.